What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to your daily updates on Solana. Um, the structure overall hasn't changed too much, I must say, since the first time I looked at it this morning. Um, it has changed a bit, all right, because yesterday and also, yeah, yesterday morning, but also over the course of yesterday, um, the entire day and overnight, we actually tried uh, very much to break above the main resistance level we have at 104 and 105. And uh, as you might remember from my video yesterday, that's the main level to break, all right? I would say that Solana, like on the on the very short term, like on the on the one hour time frame, for example, I would say we're consolidating. Um, but the four hour time frame is starting to look more and more like some sort of a start of a downtrend, uh, which would not be ideal. So getting some sort of a bullish breakout above 105 and 104 would have been the ideal remedy. Um, but all right, right now we're dropping just in general. That's that's hasn't has not much to do with Solana. I mean, Bitcoin is just falling down quite hard right here. Uh, so that is the main cause of the bearish momentum we, we see. Um, but what is the case, and, and we talked about that yesterday as well, is that Solana is weak right now, all right? If you compare Solana with, with Bitcoin, but especially also against Ethereum, it just is a weaker altcoin, uh, even though the Bitcoin dominance has been dropping down. So that tells us something, all right? That if we actually do get a lot of bearish momentum from Bitcoin here, um, which I don't think is confirmed, um, then that could have some some pretty bad uh, pretty bad effects for for Solana. We could get a bearish breakout below our main support at 199.5, and if that's the case, I mean we're just bearish. Like the market structure is bearish. It's weak against other uh, other cryptos. Fundamentally, I would say that Solana would still be doing fine. I mean you can see right here the total value locked. It has topped a bit, but it's still around two million dollars and about a. Um, and about three months ago, it was at 600 million. So uh, fundamentally, it still has seen a, a huge increase in a very short period of time. Short term, though, I'm not sure. So the main thing to watch for Solana right now is how it reacts to the main support. Um, because like I said, on the, on the one hour time frame, you can actually observe some sort, of, uh, some sort of consolidation. And we do have a strong support around $100. Psychological support, technical support. Uh, so... Initially, I want to see the, see the reaction to that level, because even though Bitcoin is bearish right now, I mean, it's it's the start of a new week, all right? The volume is quite low. This really doesn't say that much about what to expect from Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin could also just as well bounce back from 50,700 and get more bullish again, all right? So we have to await that that reaction. And just in general for, for Solana, I mean, what we're seeing right now is, is, is not, it's not too bad, all right? I, I would still say the, the open interest is dropping down a little bit here. So that obviously uh, is a decrease. And you can also see that we have some, some selling off here. Um, but overall, the open interest has increased a bit. And you can see here, for example, that we had a lot of, um, a lot of long positions being opened. Um, a lot of long positions being opened earlier two days ago on Saturday. So I don't, think it's, I don't think it's over for Solana yet. But the thing is, is that we have to get some sort of a breakout soon. Um, and I'm 50-50 on what I expect most, all right? I think a bullish breakout above 105 and a continuation up to 110 and 112 is just as likely at this moment as a bearish breakout below 99.5 and a continuation down to 95 and $94. Um, so it's really waiting for that. It's really waiting for some solid breakouts on the four hour time frame. If we get that breakout, we have some more technical confirmation. And if that lines up, which I'll keep you updated on, if that lines up with the market expectations and, and the other statistics, yeah, then that's probably what's going, to, what's going to happen. And if I would have to give you my most likely scenario, I would say it's most likely we'll hold $100 and that we can still get that bullish breakout. So overall, even though it looks bad for Solana, I would say it looks the weakest it's been since, uh, especially the 14th of February. So even though that's the case, I still do think that we can hold support, all right? But those are my thoughts. And in general, just wait for the breakout. That's the best thing you can do. Uh, but those are my thoughts. If you do have any questions, let me know. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.